What's up gamers and welcome to the next exciting episode of Bear Chester, our current going medieval playthrough here on the Bears and Beans channel. How are we all doing this fantastic day? I hope you guys had a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed binge watching and catching up on Bear Chester, those of you just now hopping in. If not, got plenty of other series on the channel you guys can go check out. So go ahead and do that if you, you know, you'd be so kind. If not... Well, you're at least here watching this, so let's dive straight on in. We're coming right out of a raid. Those of you that watched the last bonus episode, we got a little bit of trebuchet damage going on right here. And then we figured out all of this madness, right? They took down all of this. We will need to get more of these bad boys up. So we'll put one there. And I believe there was another one up here. Yes. All right, cool, sweet. Now, you guys have been super awesome about dumping all of the different ideas and stuff into the comment section. I love it. I love all of the things that I'm hearing and seeing. Some things are going to be a little bit more doable than others, but still, they're all great. Um, one of my kind of favorites, but I am not going to pursue, but it was still a really good idea, was to mirror the tavern right up against it right here and do like a bed and breakfast. That way we can move the kitchen over. In theory, fantastic idea. I love it. I might give it a try in a different playthrough, but for this one, I'm kind of liking the little market open setup. I am liking the idea of extending the garden out over here. There also was a suggestion of adding more color. So we might do that maybe in the garden little thing we do right here maybe we'll add more of the bushes something like that give it more color right definitely add more apple trees as those come up as well um, the other idea that I really latched on to that you guys dropped in the comments was that when we build the blacksmith using clay brick as the base so that way it's not flammable because that's essentially what they would do and so doing the base of it in clay brick and then the top in the wood. That is awesome, I'm totally gonna do that. Uh, we are currently purging our forest. So as you can see, a plethora of wood being dropped up here. Like holy cannoli. The other thing is we are mining all of this bad boy out. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. I think I'm gonna go with all of that. Oh, whoa, I went too far. Yeah, we'll cancel all that. And then I'm thinking the ramp will probably go right in here somewhere. I'll, I'll check and see uh, what's underneath it. There's dirt or something like that underneath, then sweet, we'll put in a ramp. Actually, you know what, just to be safe, let's not do that part. There, there, we'll figure it out. We gotta get a ramp to get down to those lower levels so we can keep going. Dig that big ass pit right there. All right, other big amazing things. We've got this bad boy going. Um, it was recommended to have a stockpile thing put in the restitutionist. That's what they're called. Sorry, I was trying to blank there for a second. A stockpile in the restitution for wine and bread. We will do that as soon as we get those two things on hand. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Um, it was also pointed out that the chairs in the temple might get utilized as like an eating space from the Great Hall. Like they might come up here to eat or whatever. And if they're non-restitutionists and they come in here to sit and eat, then they'll get the penalty for being in the wrong religion. I kind of want to wait and see if that ends up happening. I definitely can see how that would be a factor, yes. Like, not to say that I don't believe it. I definitely can understand it. But again, I want to I wanna wait and see how that plays out. Because we do have the tables and chairs here in the research area. I think they would utilize that first. 
more I think about it, though, a bread and, bed and breakfast would be kind of a good idea. Right? Or do it as, like, a longhouse style. Right here, just like a nice big longhouse. I know we said we put the infirmary. But do the bed and breakfast. Dig a pit. So we have somewhere to store the foods. Or do we keep the... Maybe we'll... You know what? We'll keep the raw deep in here. Then they'll come get it, bring it over. Maybe we'll have like a little temporary stockpile basement over here at the bed and breakfast that gets utilized by the people and then the goats can transport. I think something like that. But then that way we have an area for all the packaged meals. And then we can open this up a lot more and make it a true great haul. We'll obviously have to leave some kind of pillar structure here in the middle. But that's fine. That is fine. We can do that. I think that actually might be the go. Let's get the bed and breakfast. But before we do that, though, before we do that, because right, great the whole Great Hall thing to me, that's kind of like back burner. The big thing that we need to do next is we need to lay out the plans for the armor and the blacksmith. So that is going to be the big thing right there. All right, let me check this. I know it goes straight across, but I want to see how many. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which means that if we put a building long ways right here, it's going to be internal wise, right? Seven on the outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which means the inside would be five by whatever. And we've determined that for the tavern... We need at least one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. Okay, so we need at least seven on the inside. So we would need the full seven, which means it would need to go to nine, so it would need to come to here. Right, it would need to come here, which means the path would have to come up here. That could weirdly work out because of this little curve thing we got going on here. We might have, and we're gonna truncate it by the two on this side. So that might work out. Let's see what that looks like. Right, and then we pop one there for that. Little curve bit. We're in a heat wave right now. Those of you that just saw that pop up. We have another little space right here, which we could, again, we could make it another little garden area. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And this would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that'd be perfect. So here, let's grab this and extend that over. There, make a little, little garden spot. And we could totally bring this down and over here too. And then we'll have the armorer and blacksmith over here. And then we still can figure all this out, flatten it out a little bit, and maybe put the infirmary just right here. Infirmary can, needs, you know I mean? It needs to be small. And we can make it a two story where it's just like a little, you know, long house, double stack. Top floor is, you know, Top floor would be, I guess, patients, and then bottom floor, a little basement or something. Okay. Yeah, this could work. This could work. So right here, we're going to we're gonna do our little bed and breakfast, so that way we can get more bedrooms in. Now, another big thing that was pointed out to me is the sensation when we saw um, the villagers here in their new quarters, that they get the negative of feeling like the walls are creeping in. Essentially, we just need to put in a window. And I know I've been dragging my feet with the whole window thing. But that's what we need to do. So, let's put in a window. Let's just finally do it. We will go here, here, and here. And we will take those out. We gotta deconstruct that. Let's go ahead and speed things up. They're still doing tons of repairs from all those trebuchet shots. Like, let them at it. Let them do what they gotta do. See, just hammering it out. We'll deconstruct those spots. Then those, because they're part of the brace, the wall. So if we took the wall, we'd be taking the, the roof anyway. But I have found that if you deconstruct the wall and then it makes the roof disappear, you don't get the roof supplies. You gotta do the roof first to get the supplies. Okay. 
Okay, so now they're finally winding down for the evening. Everybody getting into their respective spots. Settlers are exhausted. Natalite. Yeah, I don't know what she... Okay, she finally got into bed. I'm like, I don't know what she's doing. All right, let's turn the roofs back off. So what do we want to put here? We got our little flaxes. We got our double herb, which as you can see, we desperately need herb. Ooh, Glitch and Darth both turned 47 today. That is crazy. They share birthday and they're the same age. It's almost like they're twinsies. Twinsies. <laughs> oh, those little rascals. I'm trying to see if I can find any herb, like any at all. Why do we have a random... That's weird. Huh. That was weird. Right, we got herb up here. Okay, some mushies and some more herb. Mushies and herb. There's some herb. Okay, so we got a few things. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Hells to the yeah. We are fishing the shit out of that. And you know what? Let's go ahead and grab all this, too. We just got back-to-back -back raid. I really doubt we're going to get raided again. We're still not fully recovered. And we're in a heat wave, so... I have not seen an instance yet where you get raided during an environmental event. If I'm wrong, definitely let me know. But to my knowledge, I've never seen an instance where a raid has happened in the middle of an environmental event. Okay, we're going to expand this out even more. All right, might as well go the one, one more on each side so it's lined up. That is a big ass area. We got all the dirt over here. This is gonna be awesome. And this is not all good soil. So we're going to have to mine all that out. We are also going to have to mine a bit out over here. Uh, bed and breakfast, yeah. I mean, we might as well do a basement, you know? So we want one, two, and then wall. Okay. Okay. That works. All that will go. That's going to be a big-ass basement. But we'll utilize it. We will utilize it. Man, they are still just hammering away. You can just hear them. Just bang, 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 bang. They're trying to fix all those Merlones and whatnot. The other thing I wanted to do is we're going to come here. So let's pause it real quick. I'm going to copy this. I want to go one, two, three, four, five. And we will copy this. One, two, three, four, five. These are going to be for only bones. Same thing over here. And then we're going to come here and we're going to take away bones. So they get all nice and condensed down right there. And I think having a bunch of bones lined out front would be hilarious. It'll give our goats something to do in the meantime. Got plenty of mine jobs going. Plenty of dirt lined up here to start filling in. So that's good as well. So there's our becoming annoyed. Rebel, what's up, dude? He's uncomfortable. Oh, he slept outside. Oh, okay, so they got stuck down here. That's what that tells me. One, two, three. Okay, that's all dirt, right? Dirt, dirt, dirt. Okay. So we need to put in a ramp. A little ramp seat. Then we'll have um take that out also. So Rebel, why don't you... Yep, start building that up. And get you and the boys out of there. There's 
not enough? <laughs> There's just not enough dirt. I know, come on. I'm trying to get you situated here, guy. I know, I know, I know. Oh, here we go. Here it comes. Hopefully he doesn't fudge this up. Get all that handled. Him and Samantha trapped down there. It looks like some kind of weird little love story. All right, nice. Start mining all this out also. Might as well, right? It's all limestone. We need it. We'll dig up under a little bit. Get some little caverns going. Alright, so those are becoming annoyed. A rebel. Ooh, and Aki the goat has died. Wow, we are just having all kinds of things happening. Okay, now we need to start coming up with the layout for up here. Alright, so we're going to have our little... Um, infirmary. Medical area right here. We need a nice, good, long building for armor and blacksmith and all that. So, let's look at the carpentry layout. Right, we did one, two, three, four, five. That's five by six to the top. With an extra one, two, three, four, five. So, five by eleven. Oh, and we need to grab these and get these deconstructed. We'll start putting windows into all the houses now. You guys have spoken. I'm going to start listening. And what I'm going to do, so I'll put one building and one building. They're going to face each other. And then in the middle, I'm going to put a little like courtyard area for all of these like outdoor things. I think that's going to be the move. Yeah, I think that'll be the move. So, this is where it wants to line up. So we'll go there. So then here is the wall. No, the dig. So here's the wall. Right? We're going two by all the way around. Or do we want to go three by on the castle side? Let's go three by on the castle side. So wall would be here. So here's where we're going to dig. Okay. Okay. And we said one, two, three, four, five by eleven. Right, that was six by twelve. Twelve, because this middle wall. Alright. So one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, okay. So there's that. Well, let's go two off of this. So one, two. Then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That leaves me three in between. Ooh. That's not a lot of room. I want five, I think. Which means that this would have to go up to here. Which means these will need to get cut in two. Here, 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 and here. Like that. <laughs> That's gonna be really interesting. Well, let me go one more. Not you. There. Alright, so plenty of digging there. And then this center bit will be the outdoor area for all this. Yeah, I think that's going to be awesome. Alright, and then their doors will be here side and side. Facing. These will be the two 
Um, basements. Basements. Ooh, which actually then... Let's have the basements connect. Yeah, let's get crazy. Let's have the basements connect. This could be fun. Or... You know what? Instead of doing all this... Because that's just going to eat up a lot of time. Right? So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, da, 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 da. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so if we remove two. We know that gives us a three in between. We're going to have to remove one for the wall. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying something out right here. So one, two, three. Damn it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five. That would give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give me seven. Which inside? Seven. Two, three, four, five by. I'm sorry. I'm I'm having trouble counting here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven. And then eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. But this is an eight. If you count the well seven if you count the the outer wall. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you would have seven. If you took that away, but the wall would be here. Right? Am I I'm tripping. So one, two, three, four, five. What are these? One, two, are these two buys? These are twos. So I actually want to go with a six here in the middle. So that would give me one. Well, no, because, say, so. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. So wall. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this would be a wall, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then wall. And then one, two, three, four, five. Right. So wall. And then one, two, three, four, five. Wall. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's what this is. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, math is hard. So that would be okay. So that's fine. So there would be a wall here. Then you would want one, two, three, four, five, six. And then a wall. And then you would have one, two, three, four. But then this needs to be a six by one, two, three, four, five, six by five. Five by one, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we figured it out. God damn, that was hard. <laughs> Actually, no, what? No, because then the wall would be there. It would be weird. Okay, so then this will go here. Because I don't care about that back side. That way it's flush on this side. We'll have a wall, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and a wall. 
Okay, we figured it out. <laughs> so we'll do that for now, just so I understand the spacing. That was so depressingly difficult. <laughs> oh, man. That really was, that was like, <laughs> that was low-key sad. Like, my children would be so disappointed in me. And I'm going to take these rows out to make space. I know I said it didn't matter, but I'm going to do it. So we have plenty more dirt so we can start filling in all this stuff over here. Sweet. Alright, I just wasted a shit ton of your time and I am sorry. But now we know the layout. So let's start putting our posters like we did with the other. Auto save. Okay, it's middle of the night, so let's pause here. So there, there. There to there. And then that is one, two, three, four, five. And so then here and here should be the upper floor, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Sweet. So that's going to be the upper floor. Then we'll have the beautiful gap here. And this is one... Two, three, four. So I want the upper to be next to each other. Do I just make it sideways? Do I just. All right, because it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And that is one, two, three, four, five. Six, so this would actually get moved one more. Right, like that. And these would be the uppers. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So that would go there. And that one would go there. Okay, yeah, I'll just do it sideways. That is so much easier now that we are doing all this. Might as well just bring all this all the way around. We'll open up that side a lot better, too. We'll get plenty of extra dirt. Okay, so. Oh, this is going to be an issue right here. We'll figure that out later. This is the big thing for now. So we have blacksmith, armor, smelting area outside. And then right here we'll do a cool little it thing where then the smelting area will go down straight to the um, to the mine. Now, I just forgot, and I'm going to change it right now while I remember. We said the bottom floor was going to be clay brick. Let's go ahead and remove... Oh, no, we don't want to remove that one. No, let's not remove that one. That's so weird that it, like, made them float. That is so weird. I don't like it. That was so weird. Look at that. Just, like, would they build it? Is it... Is the game that broken? <laughs> you know? Is it that broken that they would build it? Ah, it's floating. Or would it be the second that they like went over there, it would be like, ah, you can't do this. Or probably the second I hit play. Okay, there, now we got the clay brick down. And then we'll have doors on the side. Well, we'll have a door here. All right, facing in. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll have a door here and a door here. They'll both be facing into this. That's the entry for the whole thing. Then a path that will come up here. Okay, yeah, no, we can make this work. This will be cool. We can make this work. All right, and then here, we need to put in the windows. Okay. 
We are catching back up. I know this is extremely painful. This is what you guys come for. You come to watch me be in pain and do really simple math overthinking like a motherfucker. All right, then we'll have windows there and they will be happy, happy. And then we need to come up here and put in a window. Where do I want to put a window up here? Um, let me turn this back on. Maybe right in the middle, right here. Can deconstruct that. And what about this one? Oh, like a double window or something. A window overlooking the farm, maybe. That one we did it lined up at the foot of the bed, so it would be here. I guess that's the play. Alright. We'll go here and take this one out. Put it on the other side, I guess. Sure, why not? We'll take them out here and here. We'll put the windows in. Oh no, blight. Oh no. And what did I just install? Alright, blight. Here we go, here we go. Not a lot of crops are affected, but this can get out of control really, really quickly. Got some down here too. Okay, um, who is my people's cutting plants? We got Darth. You need to get your butt up here. No. Ah. Shoot. Darth, I want you on that one. There you go. Alright, and lovely. You need to hustle over here and save the flax. And then rebel. I want you to get you to hustle over here and save the barley. Alright, get over here and cut this one. Get over here and cut this one. All right, we can do it, ladies and gentlemen. We can do it. All right, get over here and get this one. Oh, how did one more pop up? Oh no. Oh no. We froze. All right, let me figure out what's going on and I will get back with you guys as quickly as possible. All right, well, welcome back everybody. Um, ended up having a full crash, had to reboot the whole game. Luckily, we do the frequent auto saves, so that was able to save us. Got all of our working tasks back on track. As of yet, we haven't had the blight or any other environmental factor hit, so fingers crossed on that one. But who knows. But we finally got all of the mining stuff set. We've got lots of friendships happening. Ooh, lovely and glitch. Rebel and glitch. Wow, glitch, you're just making all kinds of friends today, dude. Good for you. Ah, here it is. Here's the blight. I didn't know if it was going to come back or if it was going to be something else. So here, now let's hop right back into the blight. get this shiznitch under control. So Darth, you get your booty down here. Lovely. Get your booty up over here. And I believe it's a rebel. Yes. Get your booty over here. 
Come on, you guys. Get over. Get over. Get over. Get over. All right, Rebel. Prioritize that one. Lovely. Prioritize that one. Darth. We'll start working over here. Rebel. Where do you think you're going, dude? All right, lovely. It's like hot potato. Rebel, get over here. This is all good done here, right? Okay. Darth just jumping right into it. Rebel. Lovely. Come on. She's got it. She'll get it here. Hey, there we go. All right, we saved it. We saved it. And it's Autumn. Oh, man, we're back on track. Sweet. All right, got the windows going up over here. Oh, we've got beautiful windows. On this upper area, we've got windows going in up over here. All of their rooms have back windows now. So we shouldn't be getting the walls closing in buff anymore. I'm not going to be doing windows on the fortress because, again, that's a fortress. All right. So we've got the blacksmith, the armorer. We're digging all this out. Right, we're gonna dig all that out. The big thing here is gonna be the entry. The entry into the mines. So how do we wanna do this? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go the center two. We're gonna have one, two here. So right here, one, two, three. So that'll drop us straight down in, I believe. So we'll have one, two, that's one. Oh, okay, no. So these ones gotta go. That's the boss. So one, two for the the pathing. All right, so the path will come here and here like this. Okay, cool. And then that'll go down. Maybe we'll do something, do something a little bit more with the opening. Then we'll have that. We'll put in a double, double staircase like we did here. All right, because this is the true mine entrance. It goes down into all this. Make it look real fancy. Just like we did here. <laughs> Not really. We got all this salt and stuff that needs to be tapped into. We're just going to let the trees kind of grow on their own now. Oh no, Samantha's trapped. No, Samantha. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no. She gone done been trapped. Turn the roof off. So for these rooms, we did one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, four by four. Okay. One, two, and then wall, and then one, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. And then, so then wall, and then one, two, three, four, wall. So that's one room. One, two, three, four, wall. That's two rooms. Two, three, four, wall. That's three rooms. One, two, three, four, five. Her. So we got a little extra. So others are becoming annoyed. Yeah, Samantha's just stuck down there. So we do have an extra. On top, so we're not just gonna have the, so we'll have the three and then we'll have a four. Maybe we'll do something with the whole one, two, three, four, one, two, three. We'll put a line here, or maybe here and make it, hmm. Right, because that would be one, two, three, four, five, by one, two, three. And chop it and make it two rooms, five by threes. Because 4x4 four four is 16, 5x3 is 15. 
So two slightly smaller rooms. I mean, it's an option. It is an option. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think on that one. We'll have the three normal 4x4 four four rooms right here. Should I do 5x3s here? How should I approach that? Anyway. We need to get a staircase down here for her. So the bed and breakfast. I think I'm imagining the door being over here. Going straight into the... Um, market and then maybe having another door over here for easy access to the castle and to the, all, all that stuff. So if that's the case, the castle access, we'll want that one to be down. So here, let me mark. This is just so I know where entrances are going. So there'll be a door there and a door here. Space between is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11. So 10, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. We want to use 3, so it's going to give us a 7. So we do 7. We'll do, let's do 3 off of this side. So 1, 2, 3. So we'll go like that. Yeah, we'll do that. And I know you guys always get all crazy about me doing the the extra floor stuff. Because I know I don't have to do it. But I do like to do it. And then we'll have... A hallway on this side then. If that's if that measures out right. Yeah, we would have the hallway on this side. Because this would be the staircase right here. Okay. Um Ooh, so if we if we had the little two two row hallway, right? How would we get to the back room? We might have to just have one one room over here that's bigger. Or we could just not put the room in and just have the normal three. And we'll figure it out. That's another day's problem. Right now I think we got we got plenty of layout to do. Plenty of work. Lots of mining. Like, holy crap. The amount of mining that we need to get done to dig out all these basements and whatnot. That's pretty intense. Who's unhappy? Samantha. Well, that's because she slept outside and was in a hole. And it's been raining nonstop. Right. Let's see how they feel now. Ah, okay. So walls closing in is gone. Same here. Same here. Rainy day. He's got the wash. Oh, okay, so he just doesn't like that it's just a rainy day. Bro gets pissy. Oh, no. Uh, okay, so no uh, walls closing in. What about her? She's hungry. Wasn't surrounding. Okay, so her room's big enough that she doesn't really care. I and mean, honestly, I don't know where we would put a window anyway. Like, looking out at her cows. I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, what? What? Yeah, I mean, it could be kind of funny. Having the window and she can just lean out and be like, Hey! Hey, Betsy. Oh, that's... Oh, Batula. Hey, Batula. Shut up. <laughs> just yelling at her cow. All kinds of gaming going on in the tavern. Which, by the way, you guys have given some fantastic tavern names. I will have to say, they have been great. I think the one that I'm going to go with is the Dancing Goat. It only makes sense. 
It only makes sense, right? We're the we're the goat. Even though we're the city of Bear Chester, right? We all got the bear element. I was leaning on Dancing Bear, but I'm thinking the Dancing Goat. It's giving very like Prancing Pony, Lord of the Rings, you know, Green Dragon vibes. I think that's the way we're gonna go. Yeah, they're already in the little thing, so all their dirt just drops right into the stockpile. Perfect. All right, how do they handle, or how did we handle the down? So one of the ends, but the two-story end. Okay, so that would be here. We got a friendly merchant. At the two-story end, we have it down. Oh, this one will be tricky. Tricky, tricky. Okay. And then we'll do the one, two, three, four here. Right? Yep, okay. And then you'll do the same thing going up. Like that. All right, so that at least establishes that setup. And then we're gonna need to put brick archways here. For these. That's going to be cool. There, so now they can get down in. Our builder's super happy to have projects. They're like, all right! Man, they're just going to town. All right, well, we got a lot to do, a lot to catch up on. We got a friendly visitor. All right, let's do this real quick. Where's GB? Come and do some bartering real quick before we call this episode. Because I think it's uh, it's a good spot. Just to go ahead and start winding down. All right, no gold. Ooh, apple sappings. Boom, done. Barley, done. Oh, this is this is the guy. This is the guy. He's got all the goodies. Black seed, I think we're good there. Or we'll take it. I don't even care. We got a good rug. It's got some wine, some pie. Flimsy, 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 flimsy. Just like to get rid of the flimsies. Wow, we got a lot of sturdy clothes. I'm gonna have to go through and consolidate that here. All right, so there's a two, there's a one, a two, a three, a three. Anything lower than five, I think, is what I'll, I'll purge. Because it means it's probably used from the raid. So the rest of those will be pretty good, and we got a good little setup. All right, we're giving him 50 gold worth of stuff. Find what else we can give him. Give him some tallow. Oh, he's overweight. A little bit of tallow. Do you have anything on the cheap? Weight wise? <laughs> no, I'm not really seeing oh, some leathers. We got random wolf. We got some sheep. God, dang. This is all heavy.
beeswax. Oh, right there. Perfect. Woo. Okay, we'll give him a little bit of beeswax. Man, cutting it close. On that weight, especially. Alright, and I know I don't have to do this, but I'm going to mark it anyway. But hey, we can start planting... Those new, uh... Apple saplings. Then I'm going to get this fixed. From that raid damage. Okay, and I think we should be good for this episode. So like I was saying, this is as good a spot as any to go ahead and call it. Got a lot of just like random stuff done. You guys got to watch me struggle at math, so that was a little depressing. But we did it. We hung in there. We got our full layout, and we got some research. What do we want to do here? More religious structures. Crossbows, wooden weaponry, steel. Swords. Um. You know what? I'm going to go maces, maybe. Anything higher? No. Okay. Let's go steel. Oh, autosave. All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to research steel. So, like I said, good a spot as any. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by and joining me on pretty much what I consider a filler episode. But we still got a lot done. We laid out where our blacksmith and armor are going to go as far as the outdoor space as well, the entrance to a mine. Um, I will... I'm thinking of having all of this open up and then have it connect across to there. That would be pretty cool. But we'll figure all this out later. We're still digging out over here so we can replace it with soil so we can start planting more crops. We'll plant more over here as well. Then we'll put in our infirmary hospital thing over here. And then that should be good until we start, you know, getting further along. Then we have all this up here that we can start building on too. So lots of good things coming. We're going to do a little bit more reinforcement and stuff over here as well. And then start working on the walls on the outside. Now that we have a good thick supply of limestone bricks. So lots to come. Lots still to do. Still need to start pre prepping our roles for our, our villagers so we can start having a lot more events and start taking advantage of that. So now we're getting into the nitty gritty. Now we're getting into the higher level research, making sure that people are going to have proper weapons and armor, make sure that stuff is all laid out, and I need to remove my markers for my doors before they dig those out. So lots to come, lots to look forward to. As always, guys... Go ahead and hit that like button. Drop me a comment. Let me know how I'm doing, how I'm not doing. And if you haven't already, please smash that subscribe. Join the ever-growing community here at the Bears and Beans channel. And if you'd like to further stay in the know, you can head over to Instagram and follow me at Bears and Beans Gaming. I follow all gamers back. And for some additional support for the channel, you can become a member on Patreon. Link is in the description. Or join here on YouTube. You'll get access to tons of behind-the-scenes stuff, tons of unedited footage, which I am currently adding right now for this series. So you'll get to see all of my bloopers, behind the scenes stuff, my tongue twisters, my edits, all that will be handled just raw and live just for you. So go check that out. But again, thank you so much for stopping by. You guys are an amazing, wonderful community. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.